But winter is coming. We know what's coming with it. As we begin to head into the colder months of the year, keeping warm in our home is essential. But as the energy bills start to rise alongside the energy crisis, a lot of homes are choosing to use less energy. So, knowing how to keep your house warm without gas is incredibly important for next winter. Power outages are also another aspect to prepare for. However, no need to fear as there's a few things we can do to keep your home comfortable and warm. Watch till the end of this video to understand the six different methods to heat your home without using gas and at the end of this video, you will get five tips to reduce the effect of winter inside your home without using any kind of heating equipment. Biogas Powered Home Heating Set up a biogas-fired water heater that heats all the water. This water heater can heat your hot water for your showers and household needs. Then, have the water heater heat the water that goes through your heat radiators all over your house that are along your walls. Solar Thermal Panels Solar thermal panels are worth considering as a secondary heating system. These eco-friendly systems absorb heat from the sun and solar collectors which are fitted to your roof. The heated fluid is then transferred to your hot water tank, where it's ready to use. Sadly, solar thermal panels aren't enough to meet a typical house's heating demands on its own. So they're often used in conjunction with infrared heating panels or heat pumps. As with all renewable energy technologies, you can expect a high upfront cost, but the returns are significant. Underfloor heating Electric-powered underfloor radiant heat systems can save on energy costs by eliminating the heat loss that often occurs when hot air passes through ductwork. Scientists estimates that underfloor systems are 15% more efficient than standard boiler-powered radiators. Underfloor heating may also prove beneficial to people with allergies because it doesn't blow air through the home as a forced air system does. The main drawback of underfloor heating is that installation requires removing and perhaps replacing any floor coverings. This makes it a better option for new construction or homes undergoing major remodels. Infrared Heating Panels Infrared heating panels directly heat objects and people within a room using infrared heat. This is opposed to conventional radiators which heat the air. So with infrared heating panels you will have a feeling of warmth in a room that's actually cold. They're a simple heating system that don't need to be connected to a heating system, such as a boiler. Instead, they run on electricity and work independently of one another. Since it doesn't warm up the air, the room will feel colder immediately when switched off. For the infrared panels to work efficiently, the space around them must be kept clear. Biomass Pellet Stoves Try to use pellets made from cow dung or mill sawdust waste for a sustainable lifestyle. The pellet stoves offer higher efficiency and cleaner burning than wood stoves. Some of these units are even powerful enough to heat an entire home. These stoves are also easier to install than traditional fireplaces or wood burning stoves. When buying a pellet stove, it's important to choose the correct size stove for the residents. If you can't find cow dung or other eco-friendly pellets, try to use pellets made of wood-based compound that includes other organic materials such as corn husks or even nutshells. Heat pumps. Heat pumps work by pulling heat from the ground or air and blowing it into the home. It works a lot like an air conditioner since it doesn't have to burn fuel to create warmth. Instead, it simply moves heat around. There are two types of heat pumps, ground source or air source. The difference is where they extract their heat. With air source heat pumps, an outdoor compressor unit draws in air, extracts the heat and sends it, via a refrigerant, to the indoor portion of the heat pump, where the heat disperses through duct work. Ground source heat pumps use a network of pipes running through the ground to absorb the heat before sending it inside. Heat pumps are extremely efficient, capable of producing three or four times more heat than conventional electric heaters using the same amount of electricity. 
They're also extremely reliable and operate all year round, making them an excellent option for homes. And they work best when the temperature differentials aren't large. They aren't ideal for freezing climates. It's essential to learn how to warm up your room without a heater before you're caught in an emergency situation. These tips will help you. Reverse the direction of your ceiling fan. Most homeowners use a ceiling fan in counterclockwise rotation to create a cooling effect in summer. Similarly, you can use your ceiling fan in the winter to push down the warm air gathered around the ceiling. You will just have to switch the direction from counterclockwise to clockwise to warm up your room without a heater. Start cooking or baking. Cooking or baking not only adds a nice aroma to your home but also radiates heat to the surrounding rooms. After you're done baking, turn off your oven but leave its door open. The hot air spreads in the nearby area, giving off a toasty feeling. Use curtains to retain warmth. Thermal curtains are specially designed to trap air between the different layers of fabric, creating a barrier of hot air that provides an insulating effect. This means that the temperature outside will not impact your room temperature. Close unused rooms. The closed door create another barrier between you and the frigid outdoors. It also stops cold air from circulating as much. Add some layers to the floor. Rugs and carpets not only add style and color to your home but also offer a warmer surface to walk and sit on. They prevent heat loss through floor. Rugs and carpets absorb heat and are always warmer to touch than bare floor. These simple tricks are inexpensive ways to stay warm at home in winters without electric heaters. 